Senator Tulvam? Uh, you may wish to have an opening you, statement uh, or Mr. Chair, ask it's not for you to tell us here that he's lying. Kasi kayo naman dyan sa DMC, marami rin kayong kasinungalingan. As a matter of fact, during the last hearing, I already warned you na magsabing totoo uh, dahil yung patay binuhay mo. In fact, dapat ma-disbar ka nga as far as I'm concerned. Alam mo na sa, doon sa sinumpaan mong uh, dokumento na para ikaw ay makapag-notarize uh, dapat nandoon yung tao present pero pumit makaparen kahit na hindi present yung tao doon so doon pa lang ikaw ang nagsinungaling ikaw ang sinungaling not that gentleman there so before accusing that gentleman as a liar look in the mirror because ikaw very glaring yung violation mo nagsinungaling ka pinirmahan mo doon na nasa harap ko yung pinanon nagpapanotarize ng dokumento when in fact those two persons were not there. So you're the liar, not him. You understand? Okay. Now, my question, Mr. Chair, is for the president. Is he here, president of uh, the MCI? Are you the president and CEO? Of, of which department? Uh, Mr. Ostea, sir. Yes. President, po kayo ng buong DMCI Corporation company or certain... Uh, DMCI Project Developers Incorporated. Yan, yan po yun. Project, ang pinapatawag ata rito yung overall presidency ng DMCI, Mr. Chair. Bakit ang pinadala sa atin yung developer? Project developer. Uh, where is the the owner of uh, DMCI? Di ba yun ang pinasupinan natin, pinatawag natin? Okay, you take your oath. Oh, Sige Komsek, please administer the oath. Please raise your hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth before this committee investigation of the Committee on Labor? Please take your seat. Are please. you privy to all transactions regarding the MCI? Uh, not all, but... Uh, what do you mean not all? Most transactions, not... Because if you cannot answer in behalf of the MCI, I'll let you out here. I'll let you go out here. Are you willing to speak for and in, in behalf of the MCI? Yes, Your Honor. All right. Kasi ayo ang ibig sabihin lang po ni Mr. Chair, baka sabihin mamaya, kahired lang po sa akin two months ago or two years ago, hindi pa po ako presidente niyan. So we don't want to have that kind of answer from you. So how long have you been working with the MCI, Mr. Austria? Um, since 1990, well, since 1999, 90. That's good enough for me. Okay, 90s, because that's how it all started. Now, since you are the president of uh, the MCI project developers, that was your position from the very beginning, right? Um, no. Or you rose from the rocks. I was what was your manage, position back in the 90s with the MCI? I was initially managing director, but then... Managing director. What do you do as managing director? Well, it's almost the same as being president. Actually. Yeah, tell, tell us. What does a managing director do? I was... Uh, I was... Uh, what, what are your responsibilities? Well, I was directing all of the operations of the company. I was reporting to our CEO back then, no? So when you say operations, day-to-day -day operations, that would include anything that concerns litigations, right? Yes or no? Um, yes. Okay, good. So um, you were aware from the get-go that uh, there is a uh, litigation uh, case involving uh, the sale of this property we're talking about now. It's in the courts, right? I, I, was, I was made aware um, a few years ago, but initially uh, I was not aware of it. Okay, after you've been made aware, like you said, then what did you do? I was aware uh, just, um, I think, Two years ago or something, you know, but uh, because we Two have... Two years ago? People. I thought yeah. you said 
you were with DMZI Correct. since 1999 or yeah. something, yes. right? But so you mean to say now you were just made aware two years ago? Yes, after yes, the things were already brought to court. Dapat before it was brought to court, you were aware sa lahat ng day-to-day -day operation because you're the operations president. Economist right. Malagsabi, day-to-day operation, alam mo dapat yan, and then you report to your higher-up. And who's that higher-up that you report to? I report to the board. To the boards, okay. And then you give sound advice to the board kung ano yung uh, action that should be taken after yes, you receive all this information below, tama, on the ground. Now, ulitin ko ang tanong ko, nalaman niyo po na may problema yung lupa Okay, it's it's on litigation. It's under litigation. Ano pong ginawa nyo? Wala Nalaman. kayong ginawang, uh, hindi nyo po kinausap yung board, hindi nyo kinausap yung mga concerned uh, mga department, units, and people para sabihin, hey, mukhang delikado tayo ito, mainit ito. Diba? And then, bring up to the board kung ano yung maging uh, decision ng pangkalahatan ng nakarami. Majority. Mm. Unfortunately, Your Honor, um, I learned about this. I was made aware of this case uh, not too long ago no? um, because uh, we have plenty of, I don't know, well, we are dealing with so many details in the company. No? And uh, in, I think... Define so many details. Well... So, so ibig sabihin, itong kasong ito, malit lang na detail kasama to sa so many details and then hindi bibigyan ng importance to we were talking about billions and billions of worth of projects and hindi mo mabibigyan attention to hindi to naka hindi hindi po ng attention not, mo hindi po ganoon importante ho ito dahil sa amin po very important yung being fair to all people yes, we're sir. dealing with no okay um it's all in the sense na normally pagka hindi kaya ng mga department heads or division heads yung mga hinahandle nilang trabaho, saka umaakyat po sa, sa akin. Pero okay. hindi ho lahat nung lahat nung uh, lahat nung tasks, no? Nakakarating po sa akin. Okay. So, nung makarating sa yung kaso, ano pong ginawa niya? But before that, paano ipinating sa iyo yung kaso? How was it explained to you? And who did the explanation? Actually, um, ano po eh, nung nalaman ko lang ito nung uh, eto nang recent lang po nung last year last year uh meron ng kaso and uh last year okay last year nalaman ng kaso and he was the one who told you about the case right and then ano po paano niya nasabi sa inyo how was it explained to you si attorney yung Yung new si Attorney Gascon, si Attorney Pasho, siya yung head ng legal department. I know, I know. Siya yung nag kaya, kaya nga, I, I want it from your, from your own mouth, from yes. your own words. Yes. Paano nila ipiniliwanag sa inyo yung problema? Paano nila sinabi? Paano pagkasabi sa inyo? Well, sabi po nila na um, may kaso and uh, they, they are talking with the parties involved, no? And um, na-settle naman daw nila yung, ano, yung paso. Na-settle? Opo. Uh, Define settle, na-settle na, well, na. Initially, nung 2000, 2009, no, kinuwento nila sa akin, nung 2009. Um, na-settle na? Sinettle nila yung paso. Off. Eh, sabi niya, how was it settled? So with the permission of Senator Tuan. How was it settled? If it, po if yung, it was already settled, how come they are still here and complaining? Opo, uh, oh. according to our... According to who? To our lawyers po. Oh. Nag nagbayaran, binayaran po sila nung, nung hinihingi na lang ang mga... Sino nagbayad? Ang DMCI po. DMCI. Pera ng DMCI? Opo. Oh. Eh, kung binayaran sila, why are, why are they still complaining? Yun nga po ang hindi namin maintindihan. Hindi po kayo in-inform ni Tony Gascon tungkol sa kasong to? Him being the, the legal counsel of the MCI? And you only knew it last year? And this, has, this case has been ongoing since 1996? And you were employed by the MCI in 1999? Yes. You should have briefed you regarding these cases. 
this case. Oh. Tapos ngayon, wala kang ano. Well, ang ano lang, I think the reason why hindi nila ako in-inform about it, kasi po, in their, in their minds, nasettle na yung case po. Nag in their minds? Oh, nag How much did you pay them? How much did you, did they, did, they, did you settle dito sa mga complainants? 1.9 million po. One way back in 2000 and 2009. 1.9? Opo. Billion? Yes. Million. 1.9 million. 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 Who were the beneficiaries? Why do you have workers to ask po. your lawyer about it? The Kala workers. Kala ko may alam ka The workers po ang nabayana uh, po. Uh, sige, I will go to you after that. Okay. Senator Rafi, you may. Okay. Uh, let me go back to uh, Mr. Rebueno. Okay, Mr. Rebueno, sabi mo sa akin kanina, dito, uh, hindi kayo pinapansin. If he's telling the truth, then mukhang may pagkukulang doon sa statement mo. Nasabi mo, hindi kayo pinapansin, eh sabi niya, pinansin kanila by way of uh, kayo mga complainant, nakipagsayatel. Totoo ba nung what year was that, Mr. Austria? 2009 po. 2009, nakipagkita kayo sa kanila at uh, nag, nagbigay siya ng 1.9 million. And saan po nangyari ito? Sa office po ng DMCI homes. Sa, sa, sa office ng DMCI office? po. Which office is sa this? Sa Bangkal po, sa Makati. Bangkal, Makati. And do you have the month they okay anyway uh, mr rubeno or attorney capuno since you're the lawyer uh thank you your honor uh i think your honor the settlement being mentioned by the president of dmci back in 2009 this pertains to the deed of redemption of real property where they claim to have paid the laborers uh, 1.9 uh, million. This was the subject, Your Honor, of the query, uh, the previous hearing, uh, where there was a falsified uh, document forged uh, a party, Marikit, who died already, that was uh, notarized by the Council of DMCI, Your Honor. I think that's the settlement they are mentioning in 2000, back in 2009. We're not aware, Your Honor, how they paid it, but uh, we're just basing it on the uh, facts uh, narrated by the Supreme Court in their decision. How did you settle them? No, 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 no. It's Mr. Austria. Hmm. Binayaran po sila ng cash po. Is it true na binayaran kayo ng 1.9 M or B? Million. Mil million. Ah, mil million. Million. Million po. Oh. Wala pong totoo yan. Hindi po totoo yan. Wala kayo natanggap ng 1.9 million. Katotohanan yan. Meron ba kayong kasulutan? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Meron That's why... Meron kayo risiko na meron mo sila ng 1.9 The other workers are here, Your Honor. They could testify all that. The other workers? Yes, Your Honor. And si Mr. Lilio, he keeps on denying it. He's there, Your Honor, in the title of the case, there no, are... No, no, no. Nabigyan niyo ba si Mr. Lilio ng kanyang share? He was there, Your Honor. He, but nakatanggap ba siya? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Nakatanggap po kayo? Wala po akong nakatanggap na galing sa DMCI. Can you, have, can you please uh, present uh, your evidence if uh, Mr. Lilio Rebueno received or uh, 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 admitted to the settlement that you're telling us? Your Honor, during that time, there are three doc uh, the documents that we, that we, that when we paid them, it is a collective, Your Honor. Uh, no, I am asking you kung nakatanggap ng pera ito si Rebueno galing sa inyo. Yeah, we presume, Your Honor, because... Uh, presume? Is, there should okay. be the redemption, Your Honor. Hey, listen, there... listen, Mr. Dagascon, you're an attorney, right? And you should know better. Pag may mga transaksyon na tungkol sa isang kaso na gusto niyong in-action na niyo, bigyan solusyon, that should be documented. Kumari nga, dapat may video pa at may mga pirmahan. May mga quit claim, etc., etc. Meron ba yun? That's why you're on the... Show it to us, here. Na back in 2009, 
O baka yan yung, pin, yung pineke na naman, yung buhay, ginawang patay. That's why, so, Honor, this is the document that we asked them to say. And then they, after one year, Your Honor, they're questioning it. After that, we, we, we asked them to sign it together with their counsel during that time. And then after one year, Your Honor, after we paid them all this one, that's the, that's the case where it, uh, that's after this one, the, the question. Kaya nga eh, sir, you're an attorney, right? Kung nasa korte tayo, pagagalitan ka ng judge, sira na agad yung credibility ng dokumentong yan just because meron diyang pumirma na patay na. Pagagalitan ka ng judge, you know better, you're a lawyer. Giba na agad yung credibility ng dokumentong yan, regardless. Hindi na tatanggapin yan. Kasi, kasi nungalingan eh. Fraud. Fraudulent. Involved just sa dokumentong yan. So, who would believe that? And it will not be accepted as evidence. Sa korte. Why did you sign a public document or notarize a document uh, knowing fully well that some of these uh, workers has already passed away? Your Honor, Lagi mong sinasabi last hearing, you did it in good faith. But that was not in good faith. Yeah, Your Honor, during that time, I already explained it last hearing, Your Honor. When uh, Last hearing, I already explained why did I sign it, this document, Your Honor. I, 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 because, okay, I'll cut you short. Huh? You signed it, ang nakalagay doon, personally appeared before me. Pero yung dalawa, they, they did not personally appear before you kasi patay na eh. Yes, Your Honor. But you have to sign it, knowing fully well that these two has already passed away. 